Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk with you about how much airspace engineers make. Now before I begin, if you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so that I can keep making videos like these and don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it. Now before we start talking about money, I want to explain to you what an airspace engineer is. Airspace engineers usually fall under two specializations, aeronautical and astronautical engineering. Aeronautical engineers work with aircrafts and are primarily involved in the design of aircrafts like planes and helicopters, propulsion systems like jet engines, and a study of aerodynamic performance. Aeronautical engineers, on the other hand, work with the science and technology of spacecraft and its performance outside of Earth's atmosphere, and that is uh, usually uh, satellites and launch vehicles. Okay, so I just want to put a disclaimer out there how much people get paid is highly dependent on a lot of things um, in all industries and specifically for aerospace engineering it depends on your experience on whether you have uh, a security clearance or not or whether you have a master's degree or not what state you live in so there's a lot of uh, criteria for what people get paid at what companies and the numbers i'm going to share with you today should only be taken as uh, approximations um, so yeah just because you see a certain number don't expect that that's what you're gonna get paid but this should be just used as like an approximation for the future now according to the US Department of Labor the median pay for an aerospace engineer in the year of 2019 in the United States was about $116,000 if you're unfamiliar with what the median is the median is a statistical number for which 50% uh, that is 50% of the numbers are of the measured values are lower than the median and the other 50% is higher than the median So it's pretty much in the middle just like as the name median now if you look at this table It shows that the lowest percentile in the year of 2019 made about $72,000 and the highest percentile made about $166,000 um, This is usually because the lower percentile is probably people that are just entered the workforce, they're entry level, they're just graduated, and the highest percentile should be the people that have been established in the field for quite some, some time. So these numbers don't necessarily mean that this is what you should expect at each point um, on the range, but it is kind of an approximation on the average that people make on both ends of the scale. So here's another plot that kind of shows how much aerospace engineers make in comparison to other engineers. So as you can see, aerospace engineers engineers overall do make a lot more than other engineers um, and they definitely make much more than other occupations so all occupations you see on the plot is just the total of every single occupation that's in the United States um, if you're curious about if whether aerospace engineers make more or less than other engineering fields and you want to you know learn more about it just let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to make a video about that now, if we want to break down which st states hire the most um, aerospace engineers, um, I would like to show you this, uh, I guess, figure. As you can see that California hires the most amount of aerospace engineers in the United States. Um, so the greenest color is the higher number of employment of aerospace engineers in the States. Other states to note are Florida. It looks like it does also hire a lot of aerospace engineers just because there's SpaceX there uh, texas for example which makes sense because there is nasa in houston and washington state which also makes sense because there is boeing and uh, and um blue origin and in, in washington now next we would like to focus on the highest paying states for aerospace engineers as you can see from the plot this figure is quite similar to the other plot before that um, it looks like DC or District of Columbia is the highest paying for aerospace engineers which makes sense because there's a lot of government work there and Maryland also pays a lot for aerospace engineers um, and that's because Goddard NASA is there and there's a lot of requests um, for aerospace engineers and aerospace contractors. Now it's important to note that uh, for states that hire the most aerospace engineers that usually means that it is the most saturated as well now with all that being said I'm, I bet you're wondering well if some states pay more uh, than other states for aerospace engineers why don't 
all in aerospace engineers go to those specific states? Why do other ones work in states that don't pay as much? For example, me, I work in Arizona, um, but I'm glad you asked and here's why. So although some states pay much more than other states, unfortunately, uh, not all states in, the, in, in, in America are made equally. Um, there is something called cost of living, which means that some states uh, require a lot much more to to maintain a good standard of living. So for example, if someone is living in currently in Arizona is making about $80,000 a year and they decided to move to LA, California, um, in order to maintain the same uh, cost of living and standard of living, they would be, a, they would be, uh, they would need to make about $120,000 a year just to maintain the same standard of living, which is much higher than what it is in Arizona. And that's because California's cost of living is 49% higher than Arizona, and that is pretty crazy. So technically, if you remember the range from the figure that I showed you earlier, it showed that the range for aerospace engineers in Arizona is between $102,000 and $110,000, while the range for uh, the state of California is between $120,000 and $140,000. So if we do a conversion between the standard of living of Arizona and California, in order for someone in the range of $102,000 to $110,000 to maintain the same standard of living, they would need to make in California about $150,000 to $163,000, which is much, much higher than what the range for Cal California is. So technically, if you're working in Arizona as an aerospace engineer, you are making more than what people are offered in California because of this thing called the cost of living. So next time when you are talking to a friend and they claim that they're making a lot more than you in another state, you do have to keep in mind that it is not a conversion, like a one-to-one -one conversion ratio. Um, there are a lot of things that depend on why that person is getting paid more and most of the time when people go for example i know some friends that were making a certain amount of money when they worked with me and then they moved to washington state for example like in seattle or they moved to la their their um, yearly pay increases a lot but technically the reason it increases is because of the standard of living it doesn't necessarily mean that they're making much more than me it just means that their standard of living has um, increase which means their pay has to increase to try to match it as much as possible Okay, well that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it kind of uh, opened your mind into Approximations on how much aerospace engineers make um, I would love to make more videos about this topic if you're curious about anything Just let me know in the comments below and let me know if you are in the industry and kind of agree or disagree with these numbers keep in mind that these numbers are taken from the um, independent study of the u.s uh, department of labor and that doesn't mean that they apply to everyone of course there is going to be that specific case when someone makes less or more but you know it just kind of depends on where you are so just let me know down below what you think and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this this video and i will see you next time bye Mm-hmm.